Zandile Bala isn't a scientist, but she is at the cutting edge of HIV AIDS research. She's volunteered to test a new vaccine that could save millions of lives. The trial is run from the Desmond Tutu HIV Research Centre in Cape Town, a scientific hub dedicated to fighting the virus in a country with the highest prevalence of HIV in the world. It's time to see if it's still working. So far, all her blood tests have come back negative for HIV. The vaccine cuts the risk of new infections by 30%. She's helping because two of her uncles died of AIDS. I'm making sure that no one dies in the home again. It, it, it's better for those two that have passed on. So at least I want to make sure that the people that I'm left with at home learn more about HIV and they at least maybe in three years' time only, or, or for our generation, there will be nothing left like no AIDS, people dying of AIDS. The second phase of the trial involving 200 volunteers starts in January. Within two years, 7,000 people could be taking it. This is the pharmacy where everything being tested at the research centre is kept. The vaccines, drugs and HIV preventative products either here or at different temperatures in one of the fridges. But it's another recent scientific advance that's making a bigger difference in people's lives right now. Instead of taking several pills, some HIV positive people are now on a single dose antiretroviral. Because it's simpler, Dr. Glenda Gray says it's easier for people to stick to. She's seen potential vaccines come and go, but this is the first one they're talking about licensing for widespread use by 2022. In terms of, is this a game changer? The current interventions um, are our mortgage while we find an HIV vaccine. So for me, to be part of a team that finds an HIV vaccine that is uh, protective would be um, the best thing that could ever happen to me in my life. Bala feels the same. I'm, I feel very good and I can't wait for me to finish this study. I can do another one. She'll be back in a fortnight for another blood test. With every negative result, South Africa gets a step closer to finding an HIV vaccine. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Cape Town, South Africa.